breaking news related to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. A short time ago, the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Hague accusing the Russian president for his role in the abduction and deportation of Ukrainian children. Meanwhile, the president of China is meeting with Putin face to face today, a meeting that is viewed by many as a show of support for Russia and its war in Ukraine. ABC's Justin Finch joining us now live from Washington, D.C. with the very latest. Justin. And David, President Xi's visit to Russia comes as the U.S. aims to ease its rising tensions with both China and Russia. Conflicting accounts from Washington and Moscow about the downing of this U.S. drone. What we do know and what is clearly evident is that this was intentional harassment. The Pentagon releasing declassified video it says shows two Russian warplanes making 19 aggressive high-speed passes around this unmanned U.S. surveillance drone and dumping fuel onto it. One jet later seen spraying more fuel before the video breaks up. Once it returns, the drone's propeller is visibly damaged. Drone operators then guiding the aircraft down to the Black Sea, where U.S. defense officials believe Russian crews may have already picked up some parts of it. Defense officials saying sensitive intelligence has been wiped from the drone. We have capabilities and means at our disposal uh, to protect and safeguard information, uh, of which we have taken. The U.S. contending the drone was flying in unrestricted airspace, releasing a map that shows where the intercept first happened, where the collision occurred, and where the unmanned vehicle ended up in the water. Despite the video, Russia insists its pilots never came into contact with the drone, saying it went down after maneuvering sharply in Russian restricted airspace. Those Russian pilots now awarded medals for intercepting the drone. At the Kremlin, preparations underway to welcome China's President Xi for talks with President Putin. Russia views Xi's visit as a show of support for Vladimir Putin, but the Chinese say they just want to provide conditions for peace talks. And the U.S. will be watching closely to see what comes from President Xi's visit and if there's any movement on Beijing delivering that lethal aid to Russia, which officials say has not happened yet. Xi is set to arrive in Russia on Monday. In